So Sarah, tell us a little bit, what was it like being able to tell your parents anything? Did it, did it really work that way? Was that like really how it was in your home? Honestly, that's a great question. And it's a loaded answer, but absolutely that's what it was like. And the best way for me to put it is that it was honestly, it was liberating because I knew that no matter what I did and no matter what happened, I had someone that I could turn to. I had someone who would listen to me. I know I had someone who would accept me. And by someone, I mean either of my parents, not one, but both of them. They were unbelievable. And they taught me from the time I was young. And it was years and years of groundwork that they laid that I could turn to them with anything. And they taught me the value of responsibility, the value of consequences of my own actions, and it completely changed my outlook on life. Wow. Wow. That's incredible. So I'm curious, Rabbi Horowitz, if you could tell us a little bit about how, what did you and your wife do to f- facilitate that relationship? And, and I'll add, if you can tell us how all parents, not just Rabbi Yanki Horowitz, who is so known for being such a child safety advocate, how, how can parents in general you know, first we'll start with your, with your relationship, how you did that. And then maybe we'll go to, you know, more generally. Right. So my amazing wife, Udi, um, and I, we, we talked about this often as the kids were growing up and, and, um, we, we, we look, you know, we look at it like there are ba- 